Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm feeling much, much better, so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, how DID, or actually the stress that causes DID, uh, impacts your health, your mental and physical health. Um, when you're a baby or a young child, you know, you're not meant, uh, even adults aren't meant to be full of cortisol all the time because you're afraid and you're ready to escape at any second. Um, and you may find yourself feeling that way as an adult. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, that's the cortisol, what it's done to your brain and to your body. It's wore it down. Um, and then as you age, it doesn't get much better because you, like, like I, I feel like the um, world's coming to an end at any moment. I always have felt that way since I was a little girl because of the abuse I endured. Um, there's really not very much you can do to defeat it except to exercise. Get out, get some exercise, don't be overweight. I mean, I, I <laughs> take it from me. I know that my body's wore out and it's my fault. Uh, well, their fault too, but my fault because I didn't take care of it when I had the time, I had the chance. Um, but, you know, it's it's caused by, it begins with, being flooded with cortisol all the time, stress hormones, not just cortisol, but that's the worst. Um, so I wanted to make kind of a short video today and tell you I am doing better and uh, that you could do better too. Just get some exercise, okay? Go out and sit in the yard or at least you're outside, right? And take a short walk down the, down the sidewalk and enjoy the summer while we still got it. And uh, anyway... I will talk with you later. Have a good one. Bye.